Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's me, the guy who likes to shave on YouTube and talk to people. Actually, I'm not talking to anyone. I'm staring at a little phone inside my medicine cabinet. So thanks for joining me inside the medicine cabinet today. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a Monday. Uh, this is nothing special today, I don't think. I'm just going to shave and I wanted to check in because I like to try to post at least one video a week. But actually today, I'm not going to use my Rockwell today. You know, normally if you watch this channel enough, you know I use this one as my daily razor. But today I'm going to get back to the old ways. The old grungy fat boy. That's right. It's back to the old fat boy. 1960. I think, man, I, you know, I do this every time. I should go back and look and see exactly when this, I think it's 1960. Go back and look for me, will you please? I'm so lazy. I'm the laziest YouTuber on YouTube. Anyway, I'm just going to shave today with the old fat boy because I haven't used it in a long time and we'll see if I get any nicks or cuts. And I'm going to use the old feather blades that I like to use and I still have a big sleeve of. And for shaving cream, I've been given a lot of shaving creams lately from different companies to try out. And, but I'm gonna go back and use one I haven't used in a long time, this one. The one I bought at Target, caffeinated shaving cream. And because of that, I'll use the caffeinated aftershave. From Pacific Shaving Company at your local Target, at your local, um, you know, whatever, Schwegmans, <laughs> Jewel, Osco, I don't know. <laughs> They got Targets all over the world now, right? They have one in Red Square, is that right? And the Kremlin is now a Target? I understand. Okay. And then I got a couple of things I want to show you that I was sent to review for a later time, but we'll save that for later. And, uh, no, Barbasol will not be used in this video. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Knocked something down there. So I took a shower, put the old hair up. I almost need a haircut. I'm starting to look like a hippie, as you can tell. Not really. <laughs> Shave your sideburns, hippie. Uh, it is still September. And it is still summertime here in Texas, and I'm so tired of it because fall is my favorite time of year. Autumn, fall, <sighs> it's not here yet, and it ain't coming. Uh, thoughts are going out to all the people affected by Hurricane Florence right now on the East Coast and the Carolinas and all over there. I know I grew up in Houston, so I know what it's like to, uh, to be very aware of and uh, suffer the effects of hurricanes. And so I hope everyone's doing all right. Hope there aren't any viewers that are too affected by it. If there are, then I'm thinking about you, all right? Okay, let's shave. Put some water up on my face. I'm gonna use the old satin tip synthetic brush and the shaving cream. Now, for those of you that like to face lather like I do, because you don't want to get a bowl involved. I don't want to get a bowl involved. I'm gonna show you again, if you, in case you're uh, just learning, how much to put on. It's kind of like putting on toothpaste. See that? Not too much, not too little, just enough. And if you're using the kind of the inexpensive uh, shaving cream, then it's okay. And then I like to do this. I like to kind of, it's almost like putting stuff in your hair, but you're doing it on your little brush. So I just kind of smear it around, put any excess up on my face, on my baby face, as someone once has commented recently. It's like, that's funny, you're shaving, a, you don't have to shave, you have a baby face and you're shaving. I like to shave every day, man. I'm not one of those guys that walks around with like a four day growth looking like Don Johnson in 1985. I like to be smooth. And my wife likes it too. <laughs> Gross. Okay, let's uh, face lather. Here we go. I need a little, little bit more water, but a little bit more water in there. I just kinda, I've got my little uh, basin here filled with water, so I just kinda sprinkle some more in there. That looks good. And if it runs down your arm like it's doing, like, you know, you're like eating, eating a greasy burger, that's all right. As long as you're standing over your sink, don't make a big mess. If you do make a mess, clean it up right away. Keep your room clean. Make your bed, everybody. That's my advice to you. Get your own house in order before you start talking about someone else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I like about this uh, caffeinated aftershave? I mean, uh, shaving cream? It's peppermint scented. My favorite! Oh, I love peppermint. That's Christmas time, though. Christmas time coming soon. Okay, so let's load the old Butterfly 1960 Fat Boy with the brand new Feather Blade. Put that down there. If you've never seen one of these, if you're uh, new to the channel or just new to shaving with a safety razor that uses like a butterfly mechanism like this, you just 
put the razor blade right on the top. See that little thing? And then twist the bottom as tight as you can until it doesn't move anymore. And uh, I set this on six. I got it on six today. Now, normally, if you've got a, a, uh, an adjustable razor like this where you can select the aggressiveness, you'll want to, here I'll show you, you'll, you'll want to do it, set the uh, aggressiveness before you tighten it down so it doesn't stress out the little mechanism inside. So I'm gonna put that on a, uh, let's go seven. Let's go seven, lucky seven. And then close it up, tighten it. Let's get to shaving. Yeah, I haven't used the Fat Boy in a long time and it's a lot, it's a little bit lighter, not significantly lighter, but it is lighter. But these are like, uh, why are these the holy grail of, of like vintage safety razors? Like these are the ones that demand the top dollar. And I'm not sure why that is. This is just a popularity game, I guess. I mean, they are very well made and they do have a good heft. Maybe that's it. Cause like here's, so here's the fat boy. And then here's the other model that they made, which had like a much thinner um, handle. Do you see that? Can you tell how much thinner it is and how much cleaner it is? <laughs> Maybe people just, like the way this feels in the hand. I don't know. Cause I guarantee that until the, you know, the dawn of the internet, you could probably have found these things for pennies at garage sales. If anyone even sold them at all. Now, that's something I never thought about. Like, you know, with the, the advent of eBay, everything becomes a quote unquote collectible, right? Limited edition collectible. Well, I guarantee these things, well, they only made these for like two years. So maybe that's part of it too. So they are, limited in supply, but they must have sold thousands of these things in those two or three years. Once again, being the laziest shaver on uh, YouTube, I haven't done my research. But when does that ever stop anybody from talking on the internet? <laughs> if everyone that was ignorant didn't talk on the internet, we wouldn't have an internet, man. I'm going careful on my, on my chin because I know that the, the fat boy is prone to uh, nicking me a little bit. And I'm trying to avoid it. This is a good razor. I'm glad that I had it. Now, as I said uh, earlier, people have been, companies and different entities have been sending me entities. Slender Man sent me a shaving brush. No, um, you know, shaving companies and, and other people have been sending me things to try out and to review, and I got a couple of things in the pipeline. But then when I'm done with them, and some of them that I'm not a big fan of, I don't want them to just sit in my drawer and, you know, not do anyone any, any good. So I was thinking of uh, paying it forward, as they say in the shaving community, and, and sending it on to someone else who wants to try these out. So I think in an upcoming video, I'll show you what I have, and uh, we'll figure out some way to let me know if you want one or another of these, you know, shaving soaps or maybe a brush or two that I can, and maybe even like, you know, some of the razors I've tried out that I'm never going to use again. Um, if you want them, we'll figure out a way that I will send them to you. Maybe if you pay uh, just the shipping, like maybe four or $5 towards the shipping. I don't know. I don't want to go broke in this venture, but I do want to send it on and, you know, cause I don't want it to just be, I'm not looking to make money off of it. I'm just looking to send, send these things out to someone that might want to try them. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. So leave a comment. And let me know what you think would be a good way to do that. Okay. So there's the first pass. That's pretty good, man. I tell you, the fat boy, Gillette knew how to make a razor, man, back then. 50s, 60s, heck, all, you know, ever since they began making safety razors back in the early 1900s. Because if you watched my earlier video where I used the Gillette from 1918, still shaves like a charm. One blade. Now I have been seeing ads for that, what is it, Norelco one blade? It's like a, a motorized single blade cartridge razor. I don't know, I'd like to try that out. I don't want to spend money on it, but if Norelco, if you want to send it to me, I'll try it out. <laughs> I'm not afraid to accept freebies. I'm not a rich man, folks, but I do like to shave. I might not be a rich, smart man. That's my force gun. Okay, so second pass. And here's a good way to tell if you've nicked yourself in that first pass. 
little pools of blood will start to form through the white shaving cream. Luckily, I don't have any this time, so that's good. All right, second pass with the fat boy on seven. It goes up to nine. It goes up to nine. That's the most aggressive, so it means the most blade showing and the angle is such. Yeah, it doesn't go to 11. All right, sorry. I go sideways, letting the weight of the razor do the cutting so that I don't get cut. If you can hear Dave Brubeck in the background or not. But uh, yeah, so. Puffing out my cheeks help me, help me out, sort of. Help me get a different angle. Whatever you have to do to get a good shave, you know, short of, you know, hurt yourself, do it. Find the angles that the hair grows on your face. Because it'll surprise you, all the weird different angles that it grows. All right. Got into the nose there. Go sideways. Now the chin area. I think I had acne when I was in middle school. And so my skin's kind of bumpy there still. You're not going to see my face on any uh, oil of Olay ads anytime soon is what I'm saying. Oh, I can just tell it wants to nick me. A brand new, f fresh, sharp feather blade. And this fat boy, it wants to nick me. It wants to draw blood. So I'm gonna go slow and light. Slow and light. Cause I always get nicks down here on my neck. Probably cause the hair is coarser on my neck. And I go over it more times cause it's harder to get it. So don't go over your face too many times if you're new to uh, wet shaving or shaving with a blade or shaving with a safety razor cause you will get razor burn. And you will feel it, you will know. And you know you've overdone it. As Charles Roberts, the old uh, uh, dearly departed sh uh, author of all the wet shaving Roberts techniques, said, you'll get blade whipped. Oh, I knew, I knew it. All right. Who should I blame? Me? It's a, it's a poor, what is it? A poor, not workman, who blames his tools. Don't blame your tools. Your technique is wrong. If you, if you nick yourself or... You need to be a little bit more careful. I got a few little spots here. Right here, going this direction. Like if I do like this, you can't feel it, but going that way. And you may say, why? Why bother? I don't know. Sometimes you just want a baby face, smooth shave. And I'm just gonna get like the spot right there. It's always here and always here. So I'm just gonna get just a little bit more. Indulge me. Thank you for indulging me just in, you know, watching these videos and all the great comments I get. I get so many good comments from people that, seems like a lot of young people that maybe haven't been taught how to shave and uh, are looking to learn. So I'm glad to, to serve some function in some young man's life. Because I know when I started, I was, you know, I, didn't, I was scared to shave when I was a kid. I was like, oh man. Because then that meant you were like a man, you had to shave. Pretty soon you'd probably have to do taxes and get a job. Believe me, back in uh, 1983 or whatever, there was no such thing as YouTube and you couldn't see Walter Cronkite teaching you to do anything. Look him up if you don't know who Walter Cronkite was. I got Walter Cronkite's autograph once at NASA back in the, uh, probably the late 80s. I was down there with my dad and my brother and he was filming some something for something and uh, we waited for him. We went and bought a pen, a NASA pen, and waited for him and he came out and we got his autograph. Have I mentioned that before? Seems like I have. Maybe I was just telling someone. Anyway, I apologize if I'm repeating myself in some way. I'm going extra light. Extra, extra light on this one. I don't want to nick myself any more than I have to. Because I don't want to walk around with a bunch of toilet paper patches stuck to my cheeks or my neck. You know what? I'm going to call that good. How's it doing right here? Okay. There are little spots that bug me, so I just get them. Well, there's one little spot there. All right, there. 
You know, down here, I'm not going to worry about it. Ain't nobody going to be kissing me on my neck tonight. <laughs> uh, my wife doesn't watch these videos. Would you if, she, if you were her? Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Oh, feels good to put cold water up. And that one little Nick, are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything? I, I dare you, Nick. I dare you. Dry off. See if anything starts to bleed. It looks like, looks like it did a pretty good job. Yeah, what do you guys think? Why are you shaving your face? You're already a baby face. <laughs> I guess there are different... I guess there are different type of people in the world, you know? Some people don't believe the way I do, or some people don't think the way I do. Isn't that weird? It's a big, crazy, wonderful, fantastic, terrible, great world out there, and let's just do the best we can with it and help each other out. You want to do that? You want to try that? Okay. I'll do my best. All right, self-flagellation if you need to. And then the aftershave, always important. Aftershave, let me dry my hand. Okay, here's about how much, I, that's probably too much, but you know, I just bought a new one. It was on sale at Target, so I bought a second one. Oh, I love that peppermint smell. It's like really kind of a soft peppermint. You know, it doesn't burn, it's not like a stinging sensation, it's just a, like a smooth, creamy peppermint. <sighs> if I can't have cool fall temperatures yet, at least I can have some peppermint to fool me into thinking that it's fall, Christmas time. I keep going over here because I'm hoping that little nick stops bleeding. It's not bleeding right now, but I guarantee if I stop doing that, it's gonna start. <laughs> okay, well that's it. That's it for, for that shave. Um, so, the shaving's done for this one, and I want to show you two separate things that people have sent me to try in, in, in future videos, and I don't want to make this a channel where I'm, that's all I do is try out things that people have sent me. I really appreciate the people that do send me things. Keep sending it. I will keep trying them out, but I don't want to overload the channel with just like, oh, here's another one, or here's another one, here's an unboxing, and here's a review. Like, sometimes you just want to talk, you know? That's, at least that's the way I feel. Sometimes I just want to talk and chat with you guys. And I know I need to shave with whipping cream, and I know I need to have another Saturday night scotch on the porch, but I'm gonna wait till it's cool. Because the mosquitoes outside are terrible right now. We've had a lot of rain in the past week, and it's only gonna get worse. See, it was starting to, starting to bleed again. Okay, so, I got this from The Stuff Company, and I'm gonna, The Stuff Shave Company at thestuffshaveco.com. Now, here's what they are, three products that they sell. One is the aftershave, that's bay rum aftershave. This one is a shave gel. Not a cream, but a gel, you see that? And then this is barber's oil for shave and beard. So pre-shave oil, shave gel, that just, I guess, I'm not sure how to use it. I think you just, you know, put it on like, and it stays just like a gel. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the bay rum aftershave in a spray bottle. So that's one thing coming up. And then I got contacted by someone that wanted me to try this. Sweet Life Electric Razor. And this was on Amazon for like 30 bucks and they sent me a code to go green with Sweet Life. So it's a electric razor. So I guess I'll be reviewing another electric razor that's affordable on Amazon. Thanks for sending me those things, guys. You know, I appreciate it. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll try anything out that you want me to and I'll give you my honest opinion. I'm not going to steer you wrong. Okay. So that's, I guess that's the end of the video. That's it. Time to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You know those annoying things that YouTubers now have to say. Like, subscribe, smash that subscribe, hit that bell. And just do whatever you want, okay? <laughs> I'm not in this to make a living like a lot of people are. And that's good. Congratulations. If I could, I would, but come on. This ain't a Minecraft channel. This isn't a, 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 a Fortnite channel. Maybe I should start doing Fortnite shaving videos. I'm going to shave while I play Fortnite and Minecraft at the same time. See ya.